not to be able to move. However, in the vast tradition of Walt Disney, we, we continue with the story, we just have to listen out of the wall, intentionally. Um, what I'm going to talk about tonight is uh, uh, the next 10 years are going to be an enormous concept. Historians have called the, the, the decade of commemoration. Um, we, are, we, are, we are already commemorating the Home Rule Bill, which was going through Parliament 100 years ago, even as we speak. Um, next year, there will be the foundation, commemorating the foundation of the UDF and the Irish Volunteers. The year after that, it will, it will be the land gun running, the boat gun running, the outbreak of the First World War, and so on. Every year, almost for the next decade, there will be a significant commemoration going on. There's going to be an enormous amount of books produced. There'll be an enormous, enormous amount of TV stuff produced, explaining all this here. Attitudes are going to be taken. Old arguments are going to be dragged up, and um, and it's important that we take a, 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 an open view. At, at this stage, 100 years later, we should be able to debate and look at these things and see the other person's point of view, not necessarily agree with it, but 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 recognise it, recognise the fact that they have a point of view. A hundred years ago, people died for those points, points of view. So they are important. Um, what I'm going to do is just to look at two years, just to give us a, a, a flavour of what happened. Um, we'll look at 1914 and 1922. Um, so, in 1914, Kanti Lowe was predominantly nationalist, uh, but nationalism in Cadwell was physically divided between Heliites and, and Redenites. Redenites who had succeeded more or less from the Parnell wing, Healy, Tim Healy, who, who had famously uh, done for Parnell wing. Healy was, was MP for North for, for North Wales from 1892 until 1910, so for a significant period. Um, the Redenites regarded the Heliites as, as uh, an, an intrusion and um, that, they, should, that they, sh they, sh they shouldn't be there. They were detracting from the main object, which was home rule. Um, he also volunteer force. We have another one. Okay. The also volunteer force was founded in January 1913 uh, to oppose by force of arms if necessary uh, the introduction of, of home rule into Ireland. And in response, the Irish National Volunteers were founded in, in Dublin on, in November 1914 to defend Home Rule. So Ireland was divided up into two Ireland camps. Uh, at a meeting in the Dock on the 1st of February, um, the first uh, group of volunteers was set up in County Dublin. And a and seven people, several of them were, were enlisted. Um, on the night of the 24th of April, nation, um, the UBF caused a sensation by importing um, a large quantities of arms and, and ammunition into land. This was uh, a huge boost in, in, in one way to the volunteers, and recruits flooded in. Um, there was about 2,000 people in the volunteers in, 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 in the, by May 1914, um, and thereafter groups. Uh, Calgary's companies of, of, of volunteers were set up in RD on the 29th of April, uh, Drogheda 8th of May, uh, 10th of May, Churchstown, 17th of May, Jenkinson, um, Kilsair and Guardship, uh, Black Rock, Raystown, Dunley, Lyles, not, not Bridge. Every village, every town had, had its own company of volunteers. Um, in, in, in all 28 branches of the volunteers was established in, in Kendall Earth. And by August, the RIC reported that Kendall Earth had was about 5,000 men in the volunteers in Kendall Earth. Now, that sounds wonderful. Uh, they were by no means a uh, military force. They had uh, very little drill, they had very little arms, they had about 150 rifles of various. Uh, ages and combinations. So it wasn't at that stage a serious military force. Um, so the local aristocracy, most of the people were from the working class, 
shopkeepers, so on. The local aristocracy took very little interest in it, apart from Sir Roger, uh, Captain Roger Bellingham of the Royal Field Art, Art, Artillery and from Castle Bellingham. Uh, he got himself into terrible trouble. He was a prominent Roman Catholic. He was ABC to the Royal Lieutenant. And uh, he got himself in trouble in June 1914. He inspected a company of volunteers in Castlebury, and he, he, he addressed them and he said, the immediate and manifest duty of the volunteers was to secure the triumph of the Home Rule movement and to defend the Irish Parliament, which has been so shamefully lost and, and won. He got into terrible trouble with that. He was criticised in the House of Parliament and he had to formally apologise and said he was under the influence of being a home and so on. Um, the high point of the, of the organisation in Laos in 1914 happened on 12th of July, uh, the day the day deliberately picked, uh, the, when uh, the principal feature of the annual fashion in Castle Bellingham was a parade by the local um, Laos Irish volunteers. Um, the event was organised by the, by the, by the Gaelic League and it was a fan propaganda event. Um, and in front of about 10,000 uh, people, a parade of 2,000 loud volunteers did it. So, um, the event was actually filmed and there was an advertisement in the Dundalk de- in the of uh, showing the film, it's, it's either here in the near or in the I'm not sure which, in aid of the public volunteers. Wouldn't we love to get a hand on that on, on that film now? Um, so uh, that was traveled July 1914. The drums of war were beginning to beat in uh, Europe. Franz Ferdinand had been assault, had been assassinated in Sarajevo and um, <coughs> countries were beginning to eye each other up. We however had our own island on the 26th of July, uh, British army shot dead. Three civilians and wounded 38 during disturbances in Dublin after the importation of arms and hope. Um, the Lordship and the Lord of Volunteers passed a resolution on the 29th of July. Yay! <laughs> um, we have a hope. Um, passed a resolution saying. Is that right? Uh, okay. Um, the, which they passed them, they passed them the resolution which condemned the bloodthirsty action of an alien regiment and recognised that we can no longer look to the British soldiers for protection in the case of attack. And they have significant words because remember Ireland was on the throne of civil war and who was going to defend who and who was going to attack who in the event of a civil war uh, sur- surrounding the home rule question. Um, the war process moved on. On the 3rd of August, Redmond said um, that um, he pledged the, the services of the volunteers uh, for the defence of Ireland. He said that the British would take the army out and the volunteers and the UVA would defend Ireland. And, uh, and he urged um, the British government to concentrate her army on, a, on attacking Germany. And this pledge, according to the Dunlop Democrat, was a splendid day's work for Ireland. And that's the attitude. Redmond was king. He was only king of Ireland. Uh, separatism did not arise at, at any serious level. 